Hello everybody, it's Foxy speaking and here's a very quick video. If you, um, um, it's quite late. <laughs> oh dear, it's quite late unfortunately, but this is a very belated Cuneo day from me of course, because if you didn't know, I should have done this on the 3rd of January 2021. Because the 3rd of January 2021 marked the 25th anniversary of the death of Terence Cuneo, the, the, the very, very famously well-known um, artist, very incredibly famously known as um, the railway artist, as well as um, back in the 1950s and the 1960s, over in England actually. And he was famously known as um, the war artist during the Second World War. He actually did live through the First World War and the Spanish flu pandemic as well, quite, Im quite impressively, like Michael O'Connor and many other pe prominent uh, elderly centenarians, who, some of whom are still with us and many have sadly died. But, um, yes, <laughs> uh, but Terence Cuneo, he is my most favourite artist of all time. I love Terence Cuneo. I absolutely love anything to do with Terence Cuneo. I certainly do. <laughs> yes, yes, indeed. <laughs> I mean, if you didn't go, no, I have a couple of his pictures. I have two of, two, um of Terence Cuneo's um, railway paintings, actually, I, which are probably one of my uh, prized um, possessions, in my honest opinion. One of which I got um, for my birthday a few years ago, and another I got again for my birthday about a couple of years later. And it's just, oh, to be honest with you, I, I truly cherish it heartily. My, the Terence Cuneo pictures. I, <laughs> I'm not going to cry. I'm really, really not going to cry, <laughs> because one of them was from my late grandfather Edmund, who very sadly died in two thousand twenty. But um, but yes, yes. Um, I, I very, very much like Terence Cuneo. I'm a huge Cuneo fan. <laughs> but, um, um... What was I going to say? Yes, yes. He, he was quite famously well known. Well, very, actually. I mean, he's sadly no longer with us because he died in 1996. Very, very sadly. But if you didn't know, he lived till he was 88. So he did quite well. And back then... Back in 1996, if you lived to be 88, that was much more impressive back in those days. Well, it was becoming well known, but it was considered very old. Any age over 80 was still considered very old back in those days. And certainly in the 2000s, 80 or o over was considered very, very old. Well, very old, um, but it wasn't until about 2010s was when... Um, 80 plus changed from no longer being very old. It was more 90 plus that's considered very old in 2010's decade. Yes, because of um, better longevity, well, higher longevity. Of course, quite um, obviously. But, um, but I'm a huge fan of Terence Cuneo, love anything to do with, te with Terence Cuneo. I know I shouldn't have done this um, Cuneo Day um, today. Ideally, I should have done it on his 115th birthday um, anniversary, which would be on the 1st of November 2022, which is um, next, well over, ne well into um, next year. But um, also, we did have the Cuneo, special Cuneo Super Centennial Day, which was on the, the 1st of November 2017. Just to say, yes, he was—he was very well known, Terence Cuneo, and I—I I hugely revere the man. A very, very clever, truly clever and wonderful artist. Yes, but I hope you guys very much enjoyed watching. Don't worry if you didn't. I mean, I'm sorry if I bored you. Um, 
I will show you actually a few pictures of my Terence Cuneo pictures as well as Terence Cuneo the man himself. Thanks indeed for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye everybody. From your friend Foxy. Another time everybody. Another time. <laughs> oh.